What are the dangers of paracetamol or Panadol at normal regular use? Three questions we are going to look at include. Number one, introduction to painkillers. Number two, what happens if I overdose or take too much by mistake? Number three, does paracetamol get accumulated in the body? Number four, is it safe to use long term? Regular use of painkillers, particularly over the counter, OTC, medications like acetaminophen or paracetamol, ibuprofen, and aspirin, as well as prescription opioids, can have several negative side effects and risks. Here are some of the potential downsides. Gastrointestinal issues. NSAIDs or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs include ibuprofen, aspirin, and similar drugs. They can irritate the stomach lining, leading to conditions such as gastritis, ulcers, and gastrointestinal bleeding. Symptoms include stomach pain, nausea, heartburn, and, in severe cases, vomiting blood or having black, tarry stools. Kidney damage. Long-term NSAID use can impair kidney function, especially in individuals with pre-existing kidney conditions or those who are dehydrated. Risk factors include age, existing health conditions, and concurrent use of other medications that affect kidney function. Liver damage. Can acetaminophen or paracetamol accumulate in the body? Excessive use, even slightly above the recommended dosage, can cause severe liver damage or liver failure. Symptoms, jaundice, fatigue, abdominal pain, and in severe cases, acute liver failure. Cardiovascular risks. Prolonged use can increase the risk of heart attack, stroke, and hypertension. The mechanism of action of NSAIDs can cause fluid retention and increase blood pressure, which strains the heart and blood vessels. Paracetamol, also known as acetaminophen, is a safe and effective pain reliever for most people when used as directed. However, there are some dangers to be aware of. Overdose or taking too much paracetamol is the most serious danger. This can damage your liver and, in severe cases, lead to death. If you take more than the recommended dose, call your doctor or poison control center immediately. Symptoms of a paracetamol overdose may not appear for several hours. Liver damage. Even at recommended doses, paracetamol can damage your liver if you have certain liver problems or take it with other medications that can harm the liver, such as alcohol, antibiotics, or antifungal medications. Stomach bleeding. Paracetamol can irritate the stomach lining, especially if you take it on an empty stomach or take high doses. Allergic reactions. Paracetamol can cause allergic reactions, including skin rash, swelling of the face, tongue, or throat, and trouble breathing. To minimize the dangers of paracetamol, follow the dosage instructions carefully. Do not take more than the recommended amount or take it more often than directed. Tell your doctor about all the medications you are taking, including over-the-counter medications, vitamins, and herbal supplements. Do not take paracetamol if you have liver or kidney disease or if you are a regular heavy drinker. Stop taking paracetamol and call your doctor if you develop any side effects, such as stomach pain, loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting, dark urine, or yellowing of the skin or eyes. There isn't a clear consensus on the safety of long-term paracetamol use for period pain, back pain, or similar issues. Here's what we know. Generally safe, paracetamol is generally considered safe for occasional use during your period. Potential risks, with long-term use, weeks or months at a time, there are some potential risks, though the evidence is not entirely conclusive. These include Increased risk of gastrointestinal bleeding, regular paracetamol use might slightly raise the chances of stomach bleeding. Small blood pressure increase, long-term use might lead to a minor increase in blood pressure. Alternatives for long-term use, if you need pain relief for most periods, it's best to discuss this with your doctor. They can recommend alternative options for managing period pain, such as anti-inflammatory medications, NSAIDs, like ibuprofen or naproxen, note, these can also have side effects so discuss with your doctor. Hormonal birth control, options like the combined oral contraceptive pill or the vaginal ring can help regulate your cycle and reduce cramps. Heat therapy, applying a heating pad to your lower abdomen can help relax muscles and ease cramps. Overall, while paracetamol is likely safe for occasional use during periods, talk to your doctor if you plan to use it for extended periods. They can advise you on the best course of action based on your individual health and explore alternative pain management strategies.
Does paracetamol get accumulated in the body? No, paracetamol itself typically doesn't accumulate in the body at safe doses. Here's the breakdown. Metabolism. When you take paracetamol, your liver breaks it down into harmless byproducts that are then eliminated through your urine. No storage. Unlike some medications, paracetamol isn't stored in the body for long-term use. However, there's a crucial point to remember. Overdose danger. If you take too much paracetamol, your liver can become overwhelmed. This can lead to the buildup of a toxic byproduct that damages liver cells. Disclaimer. Consult your healthcare professional before making any changes to your medication or lifestyle. Do not forget to click the like button and subscribe. Up above you see a video related to health. Thanks very much for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.